Hello, sir. Let's start with the very beginning. Uh, what is the role of this new entity in uh, Berade Societe Generale? First of all, it's not BRD. We, we are a, a subsidiary and an affiliate of Société Générale Group, which is one of the largest financial institutions in Europe. And we are a, a captive share service center, i.e. A, a center delivering services for almost all, all groups and entities across the, across the world. And we do operate on a pretty wide range of activities, so from finance, and on finance we do the, the full-fledged finance activity. We we do HR, the entire life cycle of an employee from recruitment till retirement. We are doing as well IT, IT services, and in a full, uh, in a pretty wide range of activity, IT development, IT support, IT uh, maintenance, project manager, management. And finally, we uh, started activity recently on uh, what we call operations, so which cover uh, all back office, uh, KYC, so know your customer, and uh, all other types of core uh, back office activity for the group. You already have 1,000 employees, and you want more. <laughs> How many? <laughs> So yes, we uh, celebrated a couple of months ago uh, a, la a landmark uh, number for us, which was 1,000. As of today, we are a bit more, and we are 1,200, and we uh, intend to f finish the year with uh, around 1,400. So yes, we are continue to, uh, continuing to expand in all our activity, mostly uh, on, on the IT, because IT is really uh, at the heart of the group transformation and banks uh, across the, and especially our banks, which uh, uh, has uh, innovation, as DNA, DNA. So IT, we, we are becoming a, a tech company, so that's why we expand in IT and also in all, all the core uh, back office function and activities. So this is the largest technological hub in your group, yes? Uh, I guess we are the second largest in Europe, so Paris is still bigger than us. And in Europe, yes, we are the second largest with, uh, let's say, slightly more than 400 uh, IT specialists. Mm -hmm. We've got also a, largest, uh, a larger uh, center in India where there are, uh, let's say, 2,500. Why Romania? And what do you do special here? Romania, for uh, many obvious reasons, F and for us, uh, Societe, Group Societe Generale, Romania is uh, a key uh, country where we do operate. You mentioned earlier on uh, BRD. Yes, we are, we've got a pretty strong presence and footprint in this country. Globally, uh, we are close to 9,000 uh, employees at group level in Romania. Romania, so because of this footprint and because of this uh, long relationship between us, from between Group Societe Generale and the country, but on the top of that, uh, there's quite uh, lots of proximity, be it uh, cultural, uh, through education, through language capability, and also uh, the, the fact that uh, Romania belongs to, uh, to the EU. So, and on the top of that, in all the activity where we do operate, we, uh, the, the, the skill set, the technical uh, capability, the knowledge of the Romanian employee is well recognized uh, within the group. You launched today a new initiative together with some startups. Um, as I understand, uh, the scope, the role of uh, this uh, business entity is to discover new technologies or uh, is mainly focused on maintenance or how do you see the role of your entity here? So yes, so we, we, we launch a startup accelerator program, which we call uh, Catalyst. And really the, the goal is uh, two or threefold. So the first one is really to try to f to, to leverage on the technology that uh, those startups could bring us, and you, you, you may have discussed that uh, and seen that all the use cases that we are working on leverage or use uh, intelligent artificial, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, data visualization, blockchain, which are new technology, and we do consider that uh, using or uh, trying to bridge. Uh, our organization with startup is a way, uh, an accelerator for both sides, the startup for them to work on real business use case and really to enrich their, their experience. And at the same time, on, on our side, 
uh, to, to use the, the technology and the know-how that they have, but also to work or, or to uh, uh, leverage on their new way of working, uh, and also to, to gain in, in agility and uh, in uh, innovation and to speed up our transformation. Some specialists are saying that uh, banks are uh, becoming technology companies. Do you agree? Do you have the same vision? Uh, de definitely, banks are, are becoming more and more tech company because the, the backbone of everything is technology. So banks are becoming uh, indeed fully digital, working uh, fully uh, on a customer experience, uh, making sure that uh, the, the way uh, they, their journey uh, while banking uh, is seamless and is similar uh, to what they could do uh, uh, by with Amazon or any uh, other type of, of this uh, of company like this one. Yes, so we, we, we want to uh, have technology at the heart of, of our activity and our center uh, is leading uh, or, uh, the, the, or is paving the way on, on, on that side for the rest of the group and the group is really uh, using us as a, a technology, technology accelerator. For the moment your uh, main client, let's say, it's the Berede Bank. Are you going to extend no, no, your B focus? B B BRD Bank is a, very, is a very small customer of us. I guess we have a, Three or four percent of our activity, which we, which we, which is with BRD, the, uh, our main customer are all the Eastern or Western European entities. So France is by far the largest. Uh, Eighty, I would say, seventy percent more or less of the activity that we are delivering. So seventy uh, percent of uh, our one thousand two hundred employees are working for fr for France. The rest is working for UK, Germany. Uh, Switzerland, Luxembourg, and the others. BRD is, uh, is only a small part, and even though the, the cooperation uh, with them are increasing, for instance, I was mentioning Catalyst, one of the use cases on Catalyst, the one related to blockchain, is a joint venture between uh, BRD and, and us. Um, what I wanted to ask you is, is uh, if you are going to extend your focus on the market because blockchain, mm -hmm. machine learning, virtual reality are technologies that will be present in many, many other sectors. Are you going to serve only the bank sectors or do you extend your vision from now on? As of today, our core focus uh, is really to uh, serve only the group Société Générale across the world. And I guess we are far from uh, being saturated in terms of, of potentiality. So we'll spend all our effort and our energy really uh, supporting, accompanying the group transformation, being an enabler to, 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 to speed up because time to market is really key in this transformation and in, in this innovation journey. What are your plans during your mandate? Uh, our, our, our plans is really to, uh, to continue to uh, serve and to grow uh, for, for the group. Uh, no, for, as of today, we have reached uh, a decent critical mass. So we are not uh, running for uh, increased number. What we are really uh, focusing on is uh, the value that we deliver and that we create. So number in that case are, are not important. It's really to try to uh, design solution to solve and to fix uh, business challenges. And this, uh, f this design and uh, the way we, we, we want to, uh, to move on is really to uh, leverage on all type of technology and all type of expertise that we have in the Romanian market. So it could be by uh, startup, by bringing innovation, by uh, bringing uh, knowledgeable resources so that we bundle all that and really deliver a service uh, to solve a business challenge. So when do you promise us that we shall see new technologies from the banking sector on the market? What we are doing currently with uh, Catalyst is only uh, already uh, bringing some new technology in our day-to-day -day processes. So uh, w the, the one that, uh, that we are uh, developing and that will hopefully go to production shortly will uh, include uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning to uh, 
improve the uh, customer uh, journey and experience. Because you started today a new initiative with the startup, uh, please give us a message for the new uh, range of uh, entrepreneurships or startups that want to work together with you. Uh, for us, uh, there are two, we, we, we want uh, not only to work with startups, but we, we want also within, and I'll come back on the startup thereafter, we want also within the organization to have all our staff, or not all, but uh, a large chunk of our staff having also this uh, entrepreneur mindset. And we are also considering, and there's a, a, a few cases uh, that will come, come uh, to reality shortly to create internal startup. So I, uh, some of our staff having ideas, we uh, ring fence or we uh, uh, isolate them from the day to work, day to day uh, job, and they will build this internal startup. So that, that's also something that we want to, to push within the organization to uh, increase or, or to spread this uh, entrepreneurship mindset. For the startup, uh, I, I guess uh, what the, the message that we, we can convey is that ba bank as organization, they are, they are changing. They are uh, open and willing to bring technology uh, e e into their process. Then banks uh, are, are really a tech company. And I guess the, what is really fruitful uh, uh, from what we have seen in Catalyst is, bring, is really bridging the two worlds, uh, the, the world of business and the world of technology, really to take the, the best of the two and to uh, use it I I into our day-to-day -day operation to enhance uh, our customer experience.